Though these demons were unanticipated, your arrival was not. I've seen it burning brightly in my visions for some time. How long did you think you could escape us? You have stolen our shards, defiled them with your touch, and now you will die, Kalakcha! Trust me, once she gets on your trail, you're doomed. Know that you're in no position to demand anything from me. You will answer for your crimes, along with this frail thing that carries the last of the Jero blood. You don't know your crimes? Very well. Let me recount them. You have slaughtered many of our people. And you hold in your possession relics sacred to the Githyanki, uh, silver sword of our people. Fragments of it. You put too much importance on your actions and your crime. You have nothing that other thieves have not stolen before. You think there is something special or unique about your crime? Or the shards you carry? There is not! You fill the air around you with lies and accusations. But you will find they make a poor shield. You were right. She does know the importance of... Th the sharp silver thing. The shards! You can tell she's lying, it's written across her face. You dare to presume to know more than I about this matter? You know nothing of what you have done, nor the importance of what you carry. Zieri, forgive my words, but... I, too, felt the power from the shards when the Kalakja entered. And when I gathered the shards you carry. As did I. It seems a matter greater than us. Our queen should know of it. It has been too long since we have sent word to her of our actions here. Ignore the words of the criminal. They are deceptions. He seeks to manipulate you as our innocent masters once did. Do not allow it. Looks like she lost some face. I think we may be able to count on some defections if things turn nasty. I have recounted your crimes. You shall stall your punishment no longer. Why, the same thing you want from her. She is the last known descendant of one who stole a silver sword from us. You already know the answer. The time for your deceptions is over. Yes. The lives of humans are all too brief. But their sins are passed to their kin, and so has Amanjero's crime passed to his descendant. Within her thoughts, somewhere is the knowledge I seek. I will leave no memory unturned. No shred of self untouched. And what I have, what I need, I shall execute her. His sword! The blade he stole from us was broken. Instead of prying the blade from his hands, we must hunt down the mess of his crime. Now you will face your punishment, Kalakcha. 
It is why your path brought you here, and why the shards you carry will soon be added to mine. It is a door shaped by my people, one that leads to the realms of the Githyanki, and maintained by my will alone. They did so in response to your crime. As you carry the shards, so must you carry the guilt as well. If you were in the astral plane, the Lich Queen would see that you were slowly tortured, killed, and then raised again for countless cycles. Your crime merits many deaths. Among the Githyanki, none but the Lich Queen have more authority than I. Enough of this. Know that I will hear your pleas, and allow you this one last chance to atone for your crime. My offer of mercy is this. I will grant a swift, painless death for you and your companions, if you freely hand over the shards you have taken. Did you really think you could keep such relics of my people? They do not belong to you. Odd. I have all the ones you carry, yet it seems you still possess one. You have a piece of the sword inside of you. And I shall remove it from you by force. You think this is over? You are wrong, Kalakcha. And I hope the pain you have brought here is revisited upon you a thousandfold. The Lich Queen will know of my fall, yes. But it will be too late. What comes for you will be revenge enough. We were never the ones you had to fear. In defying us, you have harmed your own people and everything on your plane. The Githyanki will strike at you no longer. This was the last of our strongholds devoted to the recovery of the Shards. There will be no more attacks from my people, because it will serve no purpose. You have sealed your fate. The Shards you carry were needed. The Shard and you all are needed. Eva wakes Kalakcha, and in killing me, you now stand alone against what comes. An ancient enemy comes for you, one that has existed for millennia. You have already felt the effects of his presence, and he will grow stronger with time. This enemy, this King of Shadows, if he succeeds in his plans, your civilization will become dust, and all life will be consumed by darkness. I will see you in death, Kalakcha. I do not think I will have to wait long. I'm getting so tired of this. You have to let me save you sometime or else I'll never be able to pay you back. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for you to pay all of us on the way back to Neverwinter. You all put me in danger. I'm not paying you a single coin. 
Oh, then you'll be paying me another way. My bedroll's a little cold at night. I'm thinking you can fix that. Maybe you'd best shut your mouth, Ranger. Your words are starting to anger me. Oh, really? What a surprise. How'd you like it if I left you here in Luskin territory with your righteousness to keep you company? Hey, welcome back! Glad to see you've all returned, and in one piece no less! Huh? What do you mean? Inside the wound on your chest. That means you've been carrying around the shard almost your entire life. I, we had no idea. Ah, notice the stumble in his words. Your uncle has been keeping secrets, I think. Silence, Bishop. I don't know if I'm the best one to be telling you this, but if you've got one of those shards in you, I think you've earned the right to hear everything. Dagon probably already told you, but when you were an infant, West Harbor was the site of a battle, a terrible battle. The King of Shadows himself led an army of demons against the Neverwinter Army, which had gathered at the village. West Harbor was struck suddenly without warning. There was panic, confusion, villagers fleeing every which way to escape the battle. But Dagon's wife Shayla and your mother Esmeril did not. They stayed behind to save you. As demons and magefire rained upon the village, they fought to reach your crib. By the time Dagon even realized they were missing, it was too late. He could only watch from a distance as the village was consumed in the battle. It wasn't my decision to keep what happened to your mother from you, and my brother would be furious, I told you. I guess he... he thought it would be too much for you. In any case, when the few that remained returned to the village, no one was alive. Except you. Your mother was there. So much blood, and you were clutched in her bosom. A deep wound in your chest. She tried to shield you, but the shard must have cut through her and into you. No one knew how you survived, but you did, and your wound sealed itself within days, leaving the scar that you still bear. But if that wound was due to the shard that pierced you, then that raises many questions, and I'm afraid I'm just all out of answers. It's been with me for a long time. I am glad I could finally speak of it. Why the long faces, you two? Somebody die? If so, sounds like a cause for celebration to me. Grobnar, you worthless half-man. Strike up a tune before I strike you. Of course, Sir Bishop. It so happens I have just the tune. By the way, I've decided it would be in both our interests if I stay on with you. What? Does a man need a reason? Come now. Duncan's kind request was enough to start this, I think. Why not finish it? We don't need any more of your help. Ah! Why don't you let our leader speak for herself, Paladin, without you speaking for her, huh? No, no. There's no need, Bishop. I'm sorry for before. But you've done more than... Oh, come now, Duncan. I still owe you. And what better way to make it up to you than watching your kin here? After all, a debt is a debt, all the way until the end. Isn't that right? I hate to ask, but what happens now? I can't go back to my farm, ashes and all. Why? Because we need someone who's easy on the eyes. That's what I'm here for, I believe. <laughs> if Chandra agrees to travel with us, the danger might be greater than within Neverwinter's walls, but that is not certain. Oh, thanks. I agree with our leader, and if you wish to travel with us, it is your right. Well, thanks to you both, but... No need to thank me, farm girl. Traveling with us is perhaps the worst decision you can make. Trust me. If she's going to be with us, she'll need to do some catching up. We can't just keep on rescuing her all the time. Rescuing me? I can rescue myself. Sometimes when there's not too many lizard men or Githyanki. Well, I know enough to use a sword and I can handle myself in a fight. I mean, I'm no spellcaster, but if you need an extra blade, 
I admit, you've rescued me twice now. And if you're going to help teach me to survive these attacks, I accept. But there's some things you're going to have to accept too. I don't like being left behind because whenever you're out of my sight, suddenly all this trouble starts happening and I'm really tired of it. So, look. I won't try to get in your way or anything, but I don't want us to part ways again. I've... I've, well, lost too much already. You're not leaving me behind, all right? Then that's all I ask. So the farm girl's going to join our band. Good. We need someone to make up for the paladin, or at least to catch arrows if Grobnar's already dead. For now, I say we crack some of those kegs and drown the flagon in wine. <laughs>